Thank you so much for keeping it here in the morning. Attentive is Stephen Mbide now coming to you from Zambia. And this is Mistil Hotel. Land remains a contentious issue in Uganda from the east, west, south, and north. Uh, issues concerning land are so uh, controversial and contentious. That's why a forum like this has been organized the second of its, its time, having uh, been organized by the National Land Forum of Uganda. I just try to come and look at the land, land policy issues concerning land administration, land acquisition, registration, land rights, and others that concern land. And behind me are people coming from across Uganda and others are still on the way just to spend here three days deliberating on issues of land. Let me speak to the man who is in charge of organizing this forum, Jimmy Ochom, National Organizing Chairperson of uh, this forum. Uh, what exactly brings all the people coming from across the country here? Thank you very much. Um, today is a great day, and we are having the second National Land Forum. We last had the first one in 2016, and uh, we were supposed to have them annually because that is when we launched the first National Land Forum. And uh, because of COVID and because of a number of issues, we have been having uh, the National Land Forums uh, happen annually. But this year, because we have gotten some um, some leeway to have events, so we have managed to pull off the National Land Forum, the second National Land Forum. So this National Land Forum brings together um, land actors, uh, both private uh, actors, but also it brings closer uh, the government through Ministry of Lands and other ministries uh, to come and deliberate on issues that are affecting uh, us on, on, on land. But particularly this year, we have zeroed down to um, taking stock of uh, the 10 years uh, of the national land policy because we know that uh, the national land policy was officially launched by the government in 2013. Mm -hmm. And so it is 10 years down the road and we know that by 2019, the, the national land policy had actually expired and uh, was looking, government has been looking at renewing it and um, possibly covering uh, other avenues depending on what is happening in the country. So I know that right now government is working tirelessly to um, launch the new national land policy. So this conversation is timely uh, because it, it's going to feed into uh, the coming national land policy. So we are here to generally speak about uh, our achievements, um, of course both as government but also as, um, as, 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 as civil society, as, uh, as private sector, uh, how um, the national land policy has been very beneficial to us. Of course, there are also challenges uh, that we have faced uh, in implementing the national land policy. So today we are just going to uh, speak about, uh, we are going to take stock of it, but also we are going to look at the angle of uh, inequality mm. because we know that uh, land is the center of inequality uh, in the country. So that's the whole discussion. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Jimmy Ochom, the National Organizing Chairperson. Because you've spoken about inequalities, I know we Women and the young people are so vulnerable on when we talk about issues of land acquisition. Let me speak to a lady. Good morning, and where I come from? Good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm called Awakeninga Jacqueline mm -hmm. from Zombo District. What's on, what, in Zombo, uh, what is in Zombo in relation to land? Actually, there's so many things in Zombo that are contra contra controversial mm -hmm. concerning land issues. Mm -hmm. um, before I attack this issue from a very large perspective, the first one is in our home. Because our home is in Zombo and we have a, a land piece of, a large piece of lab, land of about five hundred acres. Mm -hmm. So you find that in our family alone there are so many conflicts between the members of the family mm -hmm. on issues of the land mm -hmm. before even we go to outsiders. Mm -hmm. Much as outsiders also have a hand, but mm -hmm. the first conflict is between us, the children of that very family that okay. own that land. Mm -hmm. uh, we have brothers, some are well off, others are marginalized. Um, we have girls and widows in our family but you find that those that have something in their pocket want to own the largest piece of land and they want to 
to actually grab it all for themselves. They want to put big investments and they forget about their brothers who are marginalized somewhere. And for the ladies, it's even worse. They tell us that us, the ladies who want to own that land, should be under the male ones. I know it's a very big conversation that tackles on family, land, community, and of course uh, the actors are all going to be here, as uh, Jimmy Ochom said here. But uh, we will be following the conversation. Stephen Embiid on FFSU, which I would like to say thank you so much for being a part of Morning at NTV from 6.30 with Chris Higeni and Priscilla Regina Naroga. I, would s I will say thank you and bye-bye for now. We'll catch you tomorrow, Thursday.